it's Gigi and okay so I have been requested so much over the past probably year or so to do a fitness inspired video and sometimes you know I'm gonna be completely honest I joke about working out and like being obsessed with it and stuff and like I don't really work out sometimes I do if my friends ask me to go and stuff like that but I'm not like a hardcore fitness addict need to hit the gym before every single thing I know that I've said that before in videos but it was like a joke if you know me you know that that's a joke but I have started becoming a little bit better with becoming that kind of person because I think that it's really really beneficial for your life and to stay active and fit and I do go out a lot and like walk in heels and like dance and stuff like that I feel like that's kind of like a workout too but it's good to you know get up and work out go on the treadmill lift some weights just it makes you feel really really great and I can definitely vouch for that whenever I work out I feel very very good about myself and I have a lot of energy and I notice in the mirror that my body looks better so I mean I have a few things here just from my life that I have I mean in my fridge and stuff like that that I wanted to talk about and hopefully you guys enjoy or learn something. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is something that is, I mean, hopefully common knowledge to a lot of people, water. So this is just a water bottle from my fridge. I always make sure that there's at least one case of water in my fridge because I am someone that is obsessed with like Diet Coke and I will always reach for a Diet Coke whenever I'm just out driving or whatever and be like, oh my God, I'm so thirsty. And the first thing that I'll crave is Diet Coke, but I've trained myself to be like, no girl, water, water, water. So you're your body is like 70% water I think and honestly I know some people that hate this water but I really don't mind it I think it's actually really really good the only water I cannot stand girl is the Aquafina I think it is or the Dasani I don't know one of those two or maybe even both it literally tastes like metal or like metal dimes or something I don't know it just tastes like money to me just like so nasty and disgusting so water get your water on girl so next I grabbed a few things from my workout drawer and I wanted to talk about that because I think that part of working out for like a girly girl like myself is picking out the fun clothes that you get to wear and I think that it actually is really important to wear fitness clothes when you work out because it lets your skin breathe because obviously you're gonna be sweating a lot and it allows for proper movement and form when you're doing like exercises and stuff so the first thing that I'd like to talk about is this sports bra and I think that it is so cute in this hot pink color obviously that's what gravitated me towards it but this is one of the most comfortable sports bras ever and this is by the brand Zumba wear and I really really love their stuff I got it online and there's four stretch fabric so whichever way your boobs are gonna be going it will keep them nice and subtle and it lifts and supports and it has a sexy neckline which never really hurts and I really just love 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 this I just feel like my boobs look good in it and I'm not like dying of sweat next is something else that's also pink um, these are the capri leggings and I love the way that these look I think that they're so flattering and if you have any tummy issues obviously this wide waistband is gonna help you with that and I think it's really cool because there's like a little secret pocket here that you would never know about because there's no zipper or anything like you can barely see it when I'm showing it like that but it's right here so you could put a little secret thing in there and whatever you want to put in there these also are by Zumba and they have the same Z dry technology which is amazing so you don't come out with like sweat stains and you will not be like sweaty and just wanting to rip your clothes off you'll just feel like you have nothing on and you can work out forever <laughs> and the last piece of clothing I'm going to talk about is kind of like a fun piece I just ordered this because I thought that it was like different for me and cool and I have yet to work out in it but I would probably wear this just over a sports bra or maybe just even like I mean, it's like mesh fabric, so obviously I'd have to like wear something under it, but I just think the print is so fun, and there's this cute little drawstring that I tied into a little bit of a bow at the side for, you know, easy adjustment, and it's all like, as you can see, kind of see-through mesh material, which is very, very comfortable, and obviously very breathable, which is why I picked it up. So yeah, if you guys want to check out anything from Zumba, definitely click the link in the description. So before I get into any of my little exercises that I try and do every day, I just decided that I would share a few more things from my fridge. This is just a juice I've been drinking, and it's filled with antioxidants. So I think that it's like kind of healthy for you, but I'm sure everyone will let me know in the comments if it is or isn't I hope that it is because it's super super yummy and it just looks like this it literally looks like vomit <laughs> But it's super super yummy It's with the juice of nine apples two kiwi fruits three and a half mangoes one and two-thirds banana and one and a quarter pineapple Which is just like so much in here. So I feel like I'm just doing myself good by drinking a lot of fruits I want to sip right now Ah uh, 
It's so good. Yeah, and I also kind of included this just because I want to know any of your health favorite drinks that you would recommend to me because I am an open book and I love, love, love drinking really yummy juices and smoothies and stuff like that. So now for the fitness tips, I basically just do two workouts. The first one that I do, I always get asked about my abs and how I keep them up. And I know a lot of people that want definition in their abs have trouble in the bottom section. That's where a lot of people carry a lot of weight around the bottom section of their abs, right above their pants. And it's unflattering because it, it hangs over your pants or whatever and it can be very, very embarrassing and people can become very insecure about that. But one exercise that I do that helps me so much whenever I just feel like I have a little bit to get rid of, I'll do like, I don't know, like 50 or 100 or something like that at night and it definitely is amazing and better in the morning. And basically what you do is you lay down on the floor facing the ceiling with your arms by your side. You try to keep your entire back all the way to your butt on the floor while raising your legs to the ceiling. And what I do is I do, like I said, 50 or like a hundred of these if I can sometimes it's like a lot but this will target the lower section of your abs and burn fat there because regular sit-ups where you're coming up to your knees only really get the top of your abs and I find that I really never even do those kind of sit-ups because I don't really carry fat there it's only really near the bottom but just do as many of those as you can and I'm sure you will see a difference because it is using your own body weight and I know that that is really really effective and when you go down the only thing that I would say is don't fully hit the ground kind of like levitate over the ground and then go back up up, levitate over the ground then go back up because that will just make your abs work that much harder and the last exercise I'm going to share today are squats and pretty much everyone is like obsessed with squats now I'll see on Instagram it's like the 30 day squat challenge or 60 days I don't even know but it works obviously so how I do squats is I basically just stand right up against the side of my couch this is a great example and I do them here a lot basically I stand right up against the back of this with my calves touching this and I like to put my hands out in front of me since you're not going to be fully sitting down on this it helps balance you out with your arms way out here and I basically just use the couch top as a guide to how low my butt should be going because I know that if I were to just do it standing in the middle of a room I would probably just like slack and not go as low as I feel but every single squat you have to touch here and that doesn't mean sitting down and relieving yourself that just means grazing it till you feel it on your butt and then going back up and then doing it over and over and over again so yeah that's kind of my technique when I do squats um, I don't know if that's the proper technique but I really do like the results of when I do this exercise Exercise, so let me know if you guys try it and if it works for you. Um, so yeah, that was kind of all the tips of my diet and fitness. I really hope you guys liked. If there are any other aspects of you know diet, fitness, and health that you want me to cover, I will definitely try to do my best. And if I missed anything, let me know down in the comments. But until I see you guys next time, stay gorgeous.